Welcome back to ShoeSwapMarina.com. On the lot today we have this 2008 Campion Explorer 552 Sport Utility Boat. This is definitely a fishing machine that gives you the best of both worlds to work as a nice family runabout as well. It comes with a Yamaha 9.9 .9 high thrust four stroke kicker motor that is from the year 2000. It is plumbed into the fuel tank, it does have a remote control on board as well as Panther Electrosteer remote steering. The boat's in very good shape, few cosmetic uh, you know little marks around it here and there which uh, are pretty much to be expected in a 10 year old boat. That being said, uh, when our detailing department does have time, we will be doing a, a detail on the boat to eliminate most of those scratches and uh, bring it up to a, an even better shine than it currently is. As you can see, there's no major work that needs to be done. A few cosmetic scratches such as this kind of stuff, but that all shows much more in the black than it would in a, a white color anyway. Here you've got the mount for the boarding ladder, which is kind of nice that it's not always mounted on there. The uh, swim deck back here is nicely non-skidded so that uh, you can be back here fighting a fish with some sure footing. Alpha 1 stern drive with a 4 blade aluminum prop gets it up and goes really well. It does come on the galvanized easy loader trailer. whole host of uh, fishing options on the inside. It does have a keel guard installed and as you can see the hull is also in really good shape. It does have the uh, cockpit cover as well as the bimini top and full canvas. Comes with two manual downriggers as well as a plethora of rod holders. And we'll go over more of that stuff when we hop in and uh, have a look. Okay, here we have the cockpit of the 2008 Campion 522 Explorer Sport Utility Boat. And we'll go through a bunch of the genius little features that Campion's put on here as well as the owner. Uh, as we said before, there is a four-stroke Yamaha 99 high thrust kicker. It has Panther Electro Steer remote control steering, and it is wired to a remote shifter and throttle unit over on the panel here, uh, which actually works really well when you're facing back, watching where your fish are coming from. And you got good operation from it there, and you can use the remote control to steer it. Works really well. On the back here, we do have a couple of rod holders that are flush mount, as well as the downrigger base here, and another rod holder forward of that. We have cooler boxes on both sides at the transom here. As we step over, We can see that there's ample rod storage on each side here, as well as more storage under this uh, seat here. There is a cushion that goes on here to make it as a seat, uh, which of course is removable for a bit more utility. As you can see over here, we have more storage as well as the ability to put another seat in the aft corner, same as this one, which I have here just to uh, show you how that works. As we swing around further, you do have a live well under this section here. Once again, there is another seat cushion for that. Both of your captain's chairs swivel right around for really good functionality. There's a two-speaker stereo on the boat currently with a CD player and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you do have tilt steering full gauge cluster, 
127.4 hours currently on the motor. Hummingbird fish finder, GPS. Nice handy little storage over here. And then in this spot here, it's kind of cool. Big uh, tackle box mounted right into the boat. Which is a pretty cool feature. In the cuddy here, you've got ample room to have a quick snooze. Uh, these center cushions do lift out, and there is storage under there as well. Uh, definitely enough space to uh, stash a porta potty in there. And as you can see, there are the manual downriggers and rod holders that come with the boat as well. This thing really is a fishing machine. Nice, bright down there, nice. Uh, hatch which has a fly screen on it to give you some air movement without getting eaten by the skeeters and that all closes up really nicely just like that uh, nice full standing height under the bimini top there is also a cockpit cover that goes with the boat I believe it does have all of the canvas windows and everything with it as well. I will just open up the engine hatch here. Uh, this is a great little power package. 4.3 liter MPI Mercruiser. That's 220 horsepower at the prop, multi-port fuel injected. Very reliable, nice smooth running, and lots of power when you do want to get up and go and you know, either get to that fishing spot or, or yank the kids around behind you. And that's all been professionally serviced since day one. And there you go. Lots of nice walk around space in here for the fishing action. Sirius satellite radio as well on the stereo. Uh, you do have a windshield wiper on both sides, which is great. There's a small anchor locker up front. And once again, all the decks around the whole boat are nicely non-skidded, so you can have sure footing when you're fighting that big rainbow. We'll head back out of the boat here and uh, wrap this up for you. So there you have it. It's a 2008 Campion Explorer 552 Sport Utility Boat. Merc Cruiser, 4.3 MPI, 220 horsepower, multi-port injected V6, 127 hours. The Yamaha 4-stroke 99 high thrust kicker. Everything works. Boat goes really well. Always well maintained. Stereo, fish finder, GPS, downriggers, full canvas, cockpit cover galvanized trailer. This thing's ready to go. Hit your favorite fishing spot. Check us out at shoeswapmarina.com and we'll see you on the water.